This is exercise 4-2, part A. So 4-2, part A is exactly like 4-1, part A, except that this time we're dealing with seventh chords instead of triads. So we'll do the same exact process. We'll just wind up dealing with seventh chords instead of triads. So first step, we're going to find the lead sheet symbol for this guy. Then we're going to assign it a Roman numeral. Before we even do that, though, we have to figure out what chord this is. And to do that, we need to stack it in thirds. So we can see this is not already stacked in thirds. It's not already a snowman. So I need to respell this so I can figure out what the root is. So I need to put all of these notes so that they land on either spaces or all land on lines. So what I'm going to do, I think I will keep the C and the E where they are. And then I also have a G and a B here. So I'll put that G and the B up there. So now that I can see that this is some kind of C chord, C is the root. Now I gotta figure out what the quality of this chord is. So we'll figure out what kind of triad we have. C to E is a major third. C to G is a perfect fifth. And then finally, C to B is a major seventh. So major third, perfect fifth. That tells me this is a major triad. And then I have a major seventh. If I have a major triad and a major seventh, that tells me this is a major seventh chord. So this is a C major seven. So I'll write that in. C major seven, but it's not in root position. So I have to use slash notation to say what the bass note is. So G is my lowest note. So this is a C major seven over G. Now I have to put it in the context of G major. So just like I did in 4-1 part A, uh, we're in the key of G major. I've written out my G major scale, and I want to figure out where C is in the context of G. So here's C. C is the one, two, three, fourth note in G major. It is the subdominant. So this is the four chord. Uh, since this is a major 7 chord, I'm going to use a capital Roman numeral. So capital IV for 4. And then it's a major 7 chord. So I would write major 7. But when I copy it over, I will have the 4 and the major. But because this is not in root position, I have to use the correct base position symbol. If this was in root position, I'd just write the 7, but since it's not in root position, since the 5th of the chord is in the bass, and this is a 7th chord, the bass position symbol for 5th in the bass of a 7th chord is 4, 3. So this is a 4 major, 4, 3. Uh, just be careful with your bass position symbols to not get your bass position symbols for 7th chords confused with triads. If this were a triad in 2nd inversion, it would be 6-4. But since this is a 7th chord, we use 4-3. So same exact process as 4-1 part A. Part B, same thing. Same exact process as 4-1 part B. So if you're stuck here, go look at the video that I made for 4-1 part B. And for part C, same thing as 4-1 part C. Uh, here, the pieces look a little bit more complicated, but you're doing the same basic process. So if you're stuck, go back, look at my video for 4-1 part C, uh, and it'll be the same process. Stack these in thirds to figure out what the chord is, then uh, place it in the context of the key to get your Roman numeral.